What is up everyone? Welcome to a very special video again on the channel. We've got ourselves another Gemini Jets future release reaction video for you guys. So it is late on the night of Tuesday, April 2nd, and once again, I'm talking with some friends, and all of a sudden, I see Gemini Jets has announced some new future releases, and again, we have some incredible announcements that are coming up here in the near future. Now, this batch is a bit smaller than the last one that I covered back in December. It was announced on the night of November 30th, and I covered it the next morning. But right here, I literally just saw this moments ago, and I should, again, I should have recorded my reaction. I was freaking the heck out when I saw, when I saw one of these releases. So we'll start off with the first row up here on the top. We've got 1 to 400 up here. We have the Lufthansa Cargo A321 P2F, so passenger to freighter conversion. That's looking pretty good. And you're going to see on the right, we've got a retro Mad Dog again, a Reno Air MD90. That is going to be a very lovely model, and I will be picking that one up, no question. But another model that I'm going to be picking up, no question as well, is going to be the Delta McDonnell Douglas MD88 with the Delta Flot livery. How many times have I talked about wanting this plane in 1 to 400 scale, and also the Ron Allen MD-88, mind you, in 1 to 400 scale? And here we are. We've got it as a future release, so certainly not complaining if I have to wait some time, because now we know that Gemini Jets is going to be doing this. And judging by the item number on not just this one, but also on the MD-90 for Reno Air, they've had this sitting around for quite some time. So it's going to be very interesting to see how that one turns out. And then next to that, we've got a... A Turkey Air Force, or Turkish Air Force it should be, uh, A400M, so a traditional uh, military future release in that case. And then below that we've got 1 to 200, so you'll see the Lufthansa Cargo and Reno Air MD-90 for 1 to 200, and then also new for 1 to 200 only, we have a Cubana ATR-42-500 and Latam, or Latam, A320neo. Excuse me there for a second. Um, but I know Gemini, I know Gemini released this in 1 to 400 way back in like 2017 when the A320neo was still a fairly new plane at the time. I think that was one of their first A320neo releases as well. It may have been Lufthansa because they were the first to get it. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, that's going to be pretty nice. So again, I only made this because again, the Delta MD-88 and the Reno Air MD-90, I was like, Oh my god, I got to make a video on this, like, right now. I, I, I think Gemini knows that NG has got the MD-80s coming. They should be coming out, hopefully, later this year. That would be my prediction. But, I mean, hey, I'm certainly not complaining, because if, if that can encourage Gemini to get some Mad Dogs out, I am all for it. The Delta MD-88, uh, Delta Flot, and the Reno Air MD-90. Uh, the, both of those planes I will be picking up and... Heck, maybe if they do, maybe something like the Cubana ATR. I mean, <laughs> if, if I've got that Antonov 26, I might as well start collecting the rest of the Cubana fleet. That'd be kind of cool. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much the only two picks out of the batch that I will get. But there'll be some other releases that I'm sure will please uh, other collectors as well. So comment below what you're interested in from this little future release announcement. One of the rarities were that I do here, and I'm only really going to do these like future release videos if there's something like really, really good in them. And this is one of those times. So, with that being said, I thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video for Retro Reviews.